While Vertex 42 templates come pre-formatted for easy printing, sometimes people wish to change what's actually printed. To do this, the print area has to be reset or modified. I'm going to use the Vertex 42 calendar template as an example to show you how to change the print area. In this case, I'm not interested in the top area, nor am I interested in the event or holiday information. So the first thing I'm going to do is zoom out using the zoom out button down here at the bottom so that I can see the entire area I'm interested in. And then I'm going to highlight only that area I wish to be printed. Once I've done that, I'm going to come up to the page layout ribbon, click on that, and then I'm going to come over to print area. Here I get two options. I'm going to select print, set print area. In 2003, it would be under File, Page Properties. Once I've set the page area, if I unselect that area, you'll notice that it's given me some dotted lines around the new print area. That's just to help acknowledge that the print area has been changed. Another way to verify the print area is to check the page break view. In Excel 2007, you can get to this by navigating to View, and once here, selecting Page Break Preview. You can also get to it by clicking on the page break preview button at the bottom of the screen. Once you get here, you'll notice that the only area that's in white or in the blue box is the print area. Only this area will be printed, and as you can see here, it indicates that it will be printed on one page. I can also use the page break view to modify the print area. This can be done by simply expanding the blue box. In this case, I'm going to add the holiday information by simply dragging the blue box to the right, at which point you can see that the number of pages is still 1. Finally, I can verify one last time by looking at the print preview option. I can get to this by going to print, print preview. Once I get here, I'll see how the area will actually be printed out, including the orientation of the paper the margins and any other information in the headers and footers. At this point I can simply print it or close the preview and make other changes.